There's a lot of stuff out there on social media that is inspiring and, you know, and that you can learn skills and techniques and, and be motivated and be inspired. All those types of things are out there too. So use correctly, you know, social media can really help your kids. Yeah, I, I think so. I think, look, from a coaching standpoint, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've learned drills from other coaches or things to help our kids, right, to do stuff. So I, again, there are great things if there's guardrails and if they're, you know, where they can go, what they can see, um, you know, and, and, and look for, for recruiting purposes too, for a lot of these kids, I think just to get on someone else's someone else's map or another, you know, just bring awareness to what, to what that kid is doing. I think it's great. Again, I don't think it should come from the parents. It should come from the coach, the schools, whatever it is. But I think there's way more opportunity for kids to be seen and do other things. So like you said, it's, it's all different. But again, I think that's where the parents have to have guardrails you know, for these kids. And, and, and going back, you know, it's so funny because, you know, this past weekend for Labor Day, we went to the farm. Um, my wife's parents live on a farm. We got four wheelers, all this stuff. And it was so great, man. We played in the creek. We did all this stuff and the kids had the best time, but they knew they had no access to getting on the phones, getting on an iPad, stuff like that, because we took it away and they had the best time. But again, that was because me and Katie forced it on them. And so they had the best time. And, you know, we don't do that enough. Yeah, it's not the device. I mean, we're not, you know, it's the, the, the problems of our culture are not because of the device. The device just exposed the problems even more. I mean, everything's a hard issue with your kids, you know? I mean, there, it's just, it, it's more of a challenge now than it was probably when we were kids because of, because of these devices. And, and you're right. I mean, if there could be a lot of great, great content that they're looking at, and hopefully they're looking at pure athletes content. So, I mean, we're, like I said, we do this. Um, there's tons of inspirational content, tons of instructional content. I mean, masterclass is, is amazing in terms of just people that, that have that, that desire to learn. I mean, it's out there. It's just, man, it just seems to be, I don't know what the percentage is, but so much of what's on there is a distraction. It's discouraging and it's distracting, which are just two, two, two unhealthy things. And so, but it's not the, it's not the device's fault. It's not, you know, the, the internet's fault. It, it's, it's the fact that it just, it, it, it exposes more of our heart issues that we have. And we just have to, as parents, we just have to help and come alongside our kids, you know, to, to deal with this new challenge that probably we didn't have to deal with as much growing up. But it, I mean, it, it can be, it can be a great thing. It really can. You just have to use it for the right things. Well, I, I think that's right. I mean, we, we have to, as parents recognize this is the culture our kids, you know, live in. And, uh, and so how do they, how do they adapt to that culture in a healthy way? And we can, we can just completely remove it. And certainly at certain ages, you know, that's, that's the approach we ought to take. But as our kids become 16, 17, 18 years old, you know, we, we become less about, less about hard boundaries and rules and more about guidance and preparing them to make decisions based on, you know, understanding the implication of those decisions. And, and so I think, I think we have to teach our kids and, 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 and model to our kids a healthy approach in all this. So good stuff. Um, parents, it's, uh, we, know, we know how tough this is. We still deal with it ourselves. Uh, we all deal with it personally as well as with our kids. Uh, but um, you know, we're going to talk about this more in the future. We'll probably have an expert on at some point in the future. But, but today, I think our, our big challenge is you know, be aware, be aware of what your kid's doing, uh, speak into it. It's, you know, you have tremendous impact, uh, if you approach it the right way with your kids and you're intentional about it and, uh, and just be aware. Yeah. And I think, I think for me, my final thing would be, I, I'd love feedback from parents and coaches that are listening on, on good ways that y'all go about doing things or things you disagree with what we're talking about, because I think that's the whole thing, right? And we continuously say this because, you know, I get all the time, you know how I get so mad when someone just goes off the radar at what we're talking about and sends something. I'm like, this this is not a you're right, I'm right, this is perfect, you're perfect. I mean, this is trying to come up with ideas 
for everybody to have a better experience. And so I think the same way. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some things we're missing here that maybe some parents do that great with their kids and good ideas. And so give us your feedback. Let us know. I think the big thing at the end of the day is is with social media and with that, just be aware of of what your kid is doing on there, what they're posting, what what people are replying, what they're replying back to them. Because I think that's, again, things that unfortunately we see it with athletes now, guys, female and male. They might have posted something 15 years ago and it gets brought up. And, you know, there's plenty of kids that we've seen that are in college. And it's like, hey, this kid, when he was 16 years old, posted this and it has affected them. I mean, they have gotten negative. They've gotten canceled. They've gotten whatever. So as you always say, what you say now because of technology, it's going to be with you in 15 years. So someone can dig it up and do that. So I think that's where kids need to understand that this this there's bigger. Like you said, Brad, I think the phone is a great thing. You have access to things we never had access to when we were younger. But with that comes consequences, too. And the consequences are bigger because of it. So just make sure you're careful. Yeah, I mean, Jeff, Jeff talked about this in, you know, in a past episode where your dad would say, like, you know, let don't don't be, don't brag on yourself. Let, let other people say good things about you. But that's not your place. But the device, these, the social media just gives you a, a megaphone to make that even louder. And so you just got to be extra careful. We got to be extra careful to, to teach our kids about that. And, and it's about humility. And, and it's just harder now because it's harder to probably be humble for these kids than it was for us. Um, the other thing, and you both have said this, we're, we're not experts by any means. We're, and we're not, we haven't conquered this uh, as adults or as parents. I mean, it's, it's a daily challenge, a daily struggle. So we're not putting it out there like, oh gosh, we figured this out. You know, and you should be like us. No, we, we struggle with this too. We struggle with this, you know, in many ways. And so, um, but I think we, but we feel it as a challenge and it is, it is our job with this platform to talk about it and to talk about the, the negatives of it. And, um, and so, yeah, just like Jeff said, just, man, we love your feedback because, because we'd love to, to hear things that you guys are doing well and, and, and kind of fighting against this. Right.